Well, hello there, you very normal and very cuddly cat girls. Welcome to RimWorld. Wow, look at you with your big, slimy cat girl face tentacles. Yesterday, not only did we get fabrication, not only did we get advanced fabrication, but we got bionics too. And that means we have all the pieces for a delicious cat girl pie. Oh, what horrible phrasing. <laughs> oh, that cat girl pie, my uh, strange inquisitive friend, is a cat girl pie where we go out into the world and we kidnap people on mass to sacrifice. We had a single sacrifice yesterday and today I want to change that. Today, I am furious at YouTube. I have a fire in my heart. And I need to take that out on someone. So virtual men is the only option. So my plan is we send out NC188 as the leader of our attack force. We send Rachel and Anaconda Bearer out as backup, as fighters. Both of them are well-equipped melee characters. And they go out and gather the sacrifices. Because you might have also noticed there's not actually enough work in this colony for everybody. So let's give them some work. Let's give them the holiest and most zealous of the work possible. I need to make them armor and weapons, and we don't have either of those. Oh, good. Oh, dear. <laughs> this plan is falling apart rather rapidly. Um, now, we need to bring them in alive, right? So, I think armor that allows us to move at extreme speed coupled with tasers. We get in there, we tase them, we get out fast. That way, if we attack a base, we can grab three people and run before things get too hairy. Ammo packs for quick reload tasers. That seems like a good idea. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me, but Dad says that we had a wandering ice cream girl called Cat Mint. Oh, no, she's real, all right. She's real. I I'm sorry, maybe I missed what type of slime girl you were, because, uh, that's some, some type of slime. Okay, what the? Ratty? Oh, no, hang on. If I remember correctly, we can sacrifice thrombo horns, right? We can. Um, squad, how confident am I that this squad can take on the thrombos? Not massively. I mean, the taser, assuming it works as it works against everything else, should be really, really good, right? Uh, sorry, what the hell does the button berserk trance do? Oh, for the for the for the murder killer. For the what's the word? Berserk. What's the word? Melee spe <laughs> melee specialist. Murder killer. Doing the uh, that's, that's the official. That's the official cat girl way of saying it. You wouldn't understand. Get it? Get it right now. No, don't bloody charge in for God's sake. We don't want to cavalry charge the thrombo. It might have his beat on that one. Okay, what we're learning is the tasers do not work as they work on other creatures. Oh! Oh! Please be careful. Meowska. Come on, taser. Come on, taser. It's a moderate. Wow. It, I mean, it might not work as it works with other creatures, but it's working well. Sick kid. We've actually tased it. We tased the thrombo. Well, that is incredible. Thank you. Um... Kill the thrombo. Well, then I guess that they can just butcher it, and then we and then we use the horn of sacrifice afterwards. That's fine. I'm sorry, thrombos, that you have to take the the brunt of my rage against YouTube. It's a necessary evil. Cthulhu demands it. Well, Cthulhu probably freaking runs YouTube. Ooh, hello, caravan animals. What have you got for me? Components. I really need more components. I don't. I was trying to. Ah, I was trying to reverse psychology on them. But silly me, I forgot that Yak's famously unaffected by reverse psychology. Got a lot of fancy stuff to build and no resources to build. Well, we've got plenty of ceiling components, but nothing else. Uh, let's build a grand penetrating scanner. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we had to build some roofs over here. So, if we use our brain and remove, like, just this little bit and turn it into a separate room, we can keep it safe and hidden away, but still technically, quote-unquote, outdoors. Now, in the interest of complete fairness, someone in yesterday's comment section said that there was a two-second edit I made where the silver dropped from 14,000 to, to about 6,000 or something like that. I am going to give us back the silver. You can go back to yesterday's episode and watch it. Nothing happened. There was no event. There was no pop-up. It was literally the difference between me looking at the crafting room and me looking at the prison. Oh, hello. There you go. We've got the, uh, what were you called again? Moyo. They're weird like, oh, oh. They're weird like uh, sea slug creatures. So again, probably fairly perfect for cat girls in a cave worshiping Cthulhu. And we did trade with the trader and make a little bit more silver. And I haven't taken us back up to 14,000, but it's close enough for me to for me to forgive the game. I'm still not entirely sure why it happened. Nephew prosthetics. I need combat gear. These things we can't make, remember? So I'm definitely going to buy one of those. Close quarters combat assistant, I presume that stands for. What do you do? Melee hit chance plus four. Holy shit. Oh, there's three of them. We can outfit the whole squad. What is instinct optimizing nanobots? Oh, Jesus. If you install it in the eyes, I see eyes, hands, or feet. Oh, cool. Plus five percent part efficiency. It's not super useful. Oh, I don't know. A plus four melee hit chance. What's the price of it? This could be nice. Uh, it's, it's about the same price as the other one for the same effect. Arco tail? 
Oh, Arco Cat Girls. Of course. Man, I'm, I'm excited because we haven't done any kind of weird bionics for a while now. I know we sort of did it with the Maria series, but even that was slightly slightly more limited than this. This one we're going butt wild with. Oh, complete mate, monstrous feline sculpture. Mioska, you've done it. Uh, where have you put it though? There it is. Holy crap. Yeah, put that down. I'm, I mean, I'm ju just going to install it right away. What the hell does it look like though? Um, more importantly, where are we going to put it? Oh, it's bigger than the other statue. Oh, Cthulhu is probably going to be offended by that one. Ah, uh, you can piss off. Uh, let's throw it like... Oh my god, we can throw it right there. And then we just put the Cthulhu one on the other side. Well, that makes perfect sense. Wow. Um. Wow. I mean, it's a very different aesthetic to the slate tile that, um... <laughs> that Meowska designed, isn't it? <laughs> very, very different artist interpretations there on the Cat God Bast. Even more confusing uh, when you actually look at the Cat God Bast and realize, hold on a minute. The slate tile is actually closer. I mean, that is closer than this bloody thing. We got a lot of people. Uh, first question, is camping any good? Do we want to keep you? Um, Rad resistant xenophile, cooking 11 double passion. All the ice cream girls have high cooking, which might be just part of the race, I suppose. Do we really need this many chefs? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Catman, I'm probably going to kick you out. You don't even believe in the right idea, Legion. I, I just, I'm, I'm sorry. We don't need you here. Cthulhu needs the best. Cthulhu does not need an army of cooks because quite famously, too many cooks ruin the uh, the worship, the incantation. Too many cooks ruin the incantation. Yes, I do want to send you. Hi, thank you for visiting. I appreciate your interest in the Cthulhu program, uh, but you're not what I need. Are you taking my friggin' ammo belt? You turn up, you steal my ammo belt and you leave. Nope, I'm afraid we don't do that here. <laughs> now you can leave. Nada has been initiated in, into the cult of Cthulhu. That's good. And another form of Jolris. Oh, but Meowska, what's happened? You've suddenly got very good at artistry. I hope my complaints weren't <laughs> so loud that someone's changed something. I don't I don't want that power. Uh, there you go. Much nicer. Now it matches. Oh, they're not even the same bloody statue. You moron. There you go. Much better. Nothing says ruinous, chaotic powers of eldritch beings like... Total order and symmetry. <laughs> what was this one again? The perverse carving, of course. I mean, it is a giant tentacle in a cat girl colony. I mean, anybody could have figured that out. Let me just start. Uh, let me just sneak that one in there. That's okay. I'm not really super confident in installing close quarters combat implants into our three raiders in a dimly lit hospital made of bones. What the freaking hell are you people doing? Okay, okay, hold on. Why don't we put a door off to the side? That, that, that will keep shut that they can hopefully just use to bypass the traps? That should work, right? Surely we're almost done with the sermons. Oh my god, it goes up by like 0.3. <laughs> That's gonna take forever. I mean, it's the point, right? Because the, the powers that you get from these gods are ridiculous. Now we see how many bloodstones we get from a thrombo. Was it worth risking our people's lives? What is that you've got there? What the hell is that? Put that down. What, what is it? 26 what? Pale stones. Oh, what are those? A lesser blessing given by the Revian Pantheon supposedly converts divine favor on the user. What does it do? Can you eat it? Make offering. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's 16 pale stones per level. Right, so if we offer 10 more, what does that do? Additional 118 pale stones are demanded. Oh, God. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, by, by level, I meant per sacrifice, because if you remember, it takes two sacrifices extra or uh, sorry double what the last level took to uh, to then level up again she's sorry for the moving 10 percent manipulation 10 percent that's pretty nice these these three are going to be our raiders so let's mark them as raiders what what are you doing around here nada you're actually freaking terrible why did i recruit you again wait, wait oh you're also really good at melee i don't know why i thought she was a, a, a medical character fine We'll take, our, we'll take a squad of four melee carrots. I think that's fine. Then we got the cat girls and then their ice cream girl servants here cooking the meals to, to, to defend the colony. I think that works okay. Cat attack squad time. Thank you, Rachel. Much appreciated. Look, let's give them a little luxury here. Uh, oh, well, I mean, what am I considering? Come on. We need power. What we don't have is power right now because I've built way too many braziers. Uh, in fact, I've built roughly 57 braziers. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe we could get rid of some of the ones in the ritual room. 
I mean, they don't need light in the prison. Let's get rid of that. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get some of this gas back a bit. Let's get rid of those two. Gives the room a nicer ambiance. Ooh, jellyfish girl. Hello. Thank you. Uh, there she is. Wearing the skull of her enemy. Oh god, you'll fit right in. Oh no, if I remember correctly, this character was the character with the with the pretty good medical skill, right? Uh yeah, you can just like drop her though. It would just like put it down. Ah, 19 hours. It's okay. Uh, sometimes they bring them in. They've got like two hours left and then they bleed out bringing them over. Uh, Sergeant, take her in. Probably fantastic timing on f f flop PP Sabalian flu. 14 medical single passion. I think we've got 15 right on. Yeah, 15 on Sergeant Bjornsson. Still minus 105 gas. Oh shit. Um, what are we running off of gas that we could maybe not run off of gas? Uh, like the fuel, like the smeltery. 75. Okay, we can get rid of that. Gas smithy. Get rid of that too. Yeah, let's get let's get rid of those. And then these things can actually keep working and keep the bloody lights on. What sort of power would you have in a cave? Solar panels, wind turbines, none of this works. Cat girl power. Like a like a like a big running wheel for mice. What about geothermal? Geothermal could work, and a lot of people have corrected me and said that cats would actually like to sit in a hot spring of their own accord. Like big old tigers and things love that. So I think occasionally let's throw down uh, a hot spring in the most convenient place and the rest will save for geothermal i'm gonna put you right to the start of the cube wait oh, i said polymerization <gasps> then we can make the boys ultimate dragon what does that do creates a high pressure environment synthesized materials that cannot be produced at the surface some sort of abyss gear i mean that'd be appropriate for our people assuming that anything other than the moyo can wear it the hell is that thing abyss tech geothermal generator hello there what the hell are you talking about oh <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's been ages since you've had a mech cluster. Okay, fine. Are we, are we okay with fighting this? What, what are you wearing right now? What is that? Recon armor. That's some funny looking recon armor. Um, You know, we're actually not that bad. It, it's kind of hard to tell what they're wearing. Sure, going to their stat screen. So two of them in, in recon armor. Obviously the cultist gear you're not going to be fighting down mechanoids with. Plate armor, legionnaire helmet. It's not terrible. 70, uh, sorry, 86% sharp. 83% sharp defense. You're terrible. I mean, we'll probably be okay if we would just go and fight them now, to be honest. Another prosthetics trader. Hey, go grab him. Any combat upgrades, though? Uh, oh, we've got another one of those. I, I have to buy it, because obviously those we can animate with the Persona Core, so I'd rather not. Biocapsule. What the hell is that? What does it do? 60% bioscope to occupant speed. Oh, that's a cool idea for a mod. Advanced bionic breaching arm. What the hell does that do? 15 melee damage per second, 100% armor penetration. Wow. That's actually really good. And then we've got bionic shocker arms. 200% damage uh, armor penetration, but only 4 damage. What is a bionic construction arm? 140% construction speed. You've got yourself a deal. Um, You want to buy my bell? Buy my bell? Oh, these tentacles? You want these tentacles? Oh, we can sell them some components. That's a good idea. <laughs> Given that we've got uh, one or two of those. Yeah, there you go. What's, what's going on out there? Someone's walked into the bloody mechanoid hive, haven't they? Uh, it's a trade. It's a trader. It's a traveler. Don't panic. Blood bone smasher. Oh, are you doing anything this weekend? I am. It's Rimworld. <laughs> it's always Rimworld. Where did the angel go? Is that what they called? Auras. That's it. The auras. Where did that go though? I'm not going mad. There was another mechanoid there, huh? Um, sir. Well, um, our people absolutely annihilated it before I even noticed it was in there. Well, you know what? I take that back. Turns out they are apparently ready for combat. I mean, if you could deal with that for me, that would be amazing. Come on, what, one more hit on that. And you might blow up the whole thing. Oh, come on. Blood bone smasher, you can do it. I believe in you. Ooh. Oh, that might take a while. Let's give him a minute. Well, Sergeant Bjornsson, congratulations. You've officially lost the title for World's Worst Shot. Plasteel. Man, that didn't even, uh, didn't even occur to me then for a second. Oh, it's freaking miles away. Hospital... Beds. What the hell was even that? Oh, what the hell are you people doing out here? Well, I mean, they might solve the mechanoid problem for us. No, they can't. Because they've got a low shield? Oh, they've got a high shield. Oh, nice work. What, what gun is that? It was Gorslan, so I'm not really surprised at that point. Yeah, shoot the muffalo. Then I get to steal more stuff, but I'm innocent this time. Um, the tittering laugh is heard once again, mocking an inhuman. Prepare quickly. Okay, well... I was going to send someone to go and deal with the, uh, with the mech cluster there, but maybe we can wait. Maybe that's not important, actually. Or maybe we deal with the mech cluster anyway. Wow, I need to stop saying words. Everything I say is wrong. What are you doing here? <gasps> oh! 
Uh, there's a star vampire out there ripping them apart. And that's a spooky star vampire too. I've never seen one like that before. Hello. It was invisible until it feeds. The devoured blood slowly reveals its bloated form as its veins are filled. It's obscene more. It's surrounded by tentacles, each tip with it's more. It's gonna morb, is what I'm understanding from that one. Drinks blood and then it looks different. That is 100% a morb, and and I, you can't even say that for the meme because it's literally true. Whose muffalo is this? Hello. Jesus Christ, you're fast. Oh. Turns out they really don't like tasers. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well. I mean, well done, team. I, I really can't be mad. Ancient star vampire, tittering and hungry, and Sergeant Bjornsson just tases it and moves on with life. One step closer to combat, cats. Can we build the drips? No. Well, worth a go. It doesn't matter too much. Look, this is a perfect hospital. There's nothing at fault with it at all. I think I only bought three of those close combat... Oh, those close quarters combat implants now, didn't I? Damn it. Um... You don't really need it so much, Anaconda Bearer, given that you've already got Soul Reap 4 and a bunch of fancy tentacles that affect manipulation. Let's give it to you instead. Boy, I can't see this going wrong at all. <laughs> Dark Hospital. Wow, it actually worked. Medical 16, nice. There you go. That's so massive. That is so, so good. And the final piece of the puzzle is just building some armor and weapons, right? So, uh, we've gone for charge gear. That was it. And the final one? Not a problem. Now, we did find some more Plasteel. That's right there. Well, that's even more worthless. Thank you. Tiny little chunks of plasteel this time. Very close to the map edge. So this is quite dangerous. Who do you want mining? Um. Oh, I don't like that. That's so dangerous. Well, good luck. I was going to say we'll put someone a bit more disposable out there, but poor Samuel. Let's also give Meowska that ridiculous construction arm. I wonder if there's the equivalent for, say, mining. Like an advanced mining arm, the equivalent of the one you get in royalty. There might be one for art as well, which would actually allow us to build some statues for this place a little bit sooner. But I mean, if each one of those gives, what was it, 150% or something nuts like that? 140% construction speed and then an extra 25% on top of the regular arm's efficiency. That is nuts. It won't affect the wall etching, but everything else we build in the base has been Meowska doing the whole thing. So if we've ever want to build something big and fancy, maybe change the floors out in here for fine tiles, we could do it in a flash. Let me craft those. Oh, man, that just that just seems so powerful. Holy crap! So what can we build? Uh, advanced shocker jaw. Excuse me. Advanced shocker arm. And maybe that one's a bit more concerning. Breaching arm. Bionic power arm. Uh, bionic field arm. And drill arms too. So we give two drill arms to Samuel, the dark speaker. That would be ridiculous. And then you give two field arms to any of the plants characters. We've got a lot of those that could. Uh, Look at benefit from that. Obviously, not many fields, but Penny Royal Mint could have a good time. Just finished worshipping, and if my maths is right, favoured. We just went over it. It was 25 to get favoured, and now we're 25.27. Does that now mean that we can use, like, his, his ultimate magic power? We're obviously not going to sacrifice uh, Flow PP Sibillion. Um, Orbital Insanity Wave. Is that what I think? Yes. Causes a massive wave throughout the orbital layer of the region. This will cause ships to crash in the vicinity. A massive psi wave that will crash traders into the planet. Oh, well, hello there. How nice of you to join us. We still don't have the gear and equipment we need to actually go out there and raid the world. So I guess this will be a, this will be a nice consolation prize. Uh, three beaters. Go in there and beat. Beat, beat, beat Cass. Cass can get beaten. And then Sergeant Bjornsson, let's get you zapping the others. Uh, whenever you're ready. Don't kill them, don't kill them, don't kill them. Double kill. Nice. And then get Jenny. Don't you leave. That's two people. That's two sacrifices. That's three sacrifices. Don't let them go. Don't let them go. Don't let them go. Uh, we can just arrest them. Oh, maybe I should have done that rather than beating them for, for the fun of it. <laughs> oh, Rachel, I'm sorry. Get him. Come on. No. Oh! You, you're shit. You're shit. This was a complete mess. Oh, we got three sacrifices. Rachel, you can lie there and think about what you've done. Oh. Oh, how sad. Colonists with charitable beliefs will be unhappy. Luckily, that's all none of us. We have to see it. We have to see the ultimate power of Cthulhu. We have to unleash the ruinous powers. Higgy, I'm sorry, my friend. It is time. With this very pleasant music playing in the background, it's very inappropriate. Do it. Goodbye, Higgy. Mi mixed success. We got a flash storm, but driven to insanity. The pilot of the trade ship crash lands nearby. Hello. <gasps> oh, well, that's not what I was anticipating. Oh, so it just drops a bunch of gear? Bolt taser? I mean, the nine advanced components is actually insane. So they just, they, it just drops a, a very rich set of gear. 
Oh, man. Okay. Nine, nine advanced chronos. Don't get me wrong. I'm underselling it. It's, it's ridiculous. I like, actually lunacy. Let me do it again. Why, why not? Why not do it again? Does that increase our favor? 26.884 is that? Right. Let's also sacrifice um, Jenny. Let's sacrifice Jenny. Oh, we're not supposed to sacrifice female pawns. But I haven't had any sacrifices today. Can we bend the rules? Should we bend the rules? Ah, oh, but it is the rules. Rules are meant to be broken. There'll be others, there'll be others, there'll be others. Stick to your principles. Stick to your principles. That makes this whole thing worth doing. Victory through greed is no victory at all. Through discipline and careful planning, that will be a victory worthy of, of old Cthulhu. Not that I'm sure he'd really care who we sacrifice, to be honest. Ooh! Jellyfish! Good god, you're quick. This is a very silly idea, but for our brawlers, hear me out. If they're all on horseback, or some sort of animal, we go heavy plate. The only downside is that... Sorry? <laughs> the only downside is the move speed, right? So if we can keep their move speed good... Have we got enough steel? I think we do. If we can keep their move speed high by putting them on, the, on, on a horse, this is going to be great. So I want uh, four pieces of heavy plate. And four pieces of the helmet. We can make the boots and the gloves. This is very silly. Boots and gloves as well. Hello? What are you doing? That seems really unnecessary. It's of noodles. Boy of noodles of noodles. And not soup. <laughs> Every fucking time. Pig. That's not a pig. That's a rabbit girl. Pig bussy. <laughs> you laughed at that. You're, you're 12. You're 12 years old. Woo. A woo, I want that one on the altar. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I never agreed to this. Fucking breaches. That doesn't seem fair. Um, there's not really any cover over here, I'm sorry to say. Well, let's just catch him in the the world's greatest crossfire. The world's worst crossfire, let's be honest. Um, half of the melee characters don't have melee weapons because I hadn't finished the research to get the melee weapons. What have we got? Hatchets. Brilliant. Line up. Oh, and I kind of beat a bought enough for the rest of the class. Don't worry. Um, you you can just equip that one. Uh, you come grab. Uh, you come grab the Naganata. You grab the Katana. Ah, oh, Weeb Squad. Ooh, transport pod. Oh my God, there's another sacrifice. Hello, you any good? Come on. Who is it? Lucky, Lucky Crane. Unlucky Crane. When I get my hands on you, uh, Anaconda Barrett, please get out of there. There was so much audio that my headphones crackled. I hope that didn't come across in the video. Oh. Get him, squad. Get him, squad. Fucking hell, it's so loud. Now they're going the other way. My god, that was a lot of people. Freaking hell, these raids ramped up fast. Just chase him down. We've got superior numbers and superior people. Oh, careful with that, though. Oh my god, Helixian. Not again. The right in, the right in her cat body. Holy shit. Um, I mean, good luck holding the line. Genuinely, best of luck there. Uh, that doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem... Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You go there. And then we catch them in out. We catch them in the old... The old pincer formation. And there'll be so many sacrifices. And they're patrons too. It's win-win. Fleeing. There is no fleeing. <laughs> we did not flee here. Uh, go hide behind those rocks. Uh, like fast though. Uh, Meowska, like, you need to get a little closer. Let's put you there. You go hide there on your horse. You've got a sniper, so you can go pop behind that wall. This is, this is a perfect... Is a perfect setup. Uh, rush him. Like, get him. I believe in you. You've got this under control. Kill them all. Look at them go. It's just, it's just incredible. This is a work of art. Right, push up. You guys come round. While they're distracted, we shoot the lot. We kill them dead. Get them. Now, that doesn't seem fair. What the hell do you mean, a mutagenic ship? I mean, I know what that means. Hello there. It's mechanoids. What the freaking hell are those? Vultures? Small and agile support mechanoids designed to repair all the mechanoids in the field. Ooh. How fancy. Some new mechanoids we've never seen before. Wowee. I can't wait to get horribly murdered by them. Thank you. Wow, look at all these people that we've got. Some of our people have taken some hits, but it's not too bad. Come on. Come on. Couple more. Big bussy. Goodbye. Of noodles, you're the last one, and then we'll start collecting them up ready for the sacrifice. And if we can get, if we can get one of those ship drops with every single one of these people, we're going to be able to make whatever friggin' weapons you want. You've done it. You've actually done it. Capture them. Fan out. Capture the lot. Get them all. Uh, get them all. I'm clicking on the horse. Please, just click on a person. 
Get them all. You guys fine? Can we leave you on the floor? You're not fine. God damn it, you cowards. Right, let's go uh, tend to those. Anyone else down? No. Samuel's taking a hit, but it's fine. Bjornsson's taking a hit, but it's fine. Uh, that cat girl's being tended to. Actually, we're pretty much okay. Uh, grab him. Just go grab the lot. <laughs> what a prison. Wow. Oh, the vomit. It was all the taser. I think we accidentally tasered Meowska too. Oh, that's not Meowska's vomit. I mean, it's very hard to tell whose vomit is whose at this point, which is a great problem to have. How are people looking? They're actually fine. We didn't lose anybody. I'm actually kind of surprised because that raid is massive and we're, we're still fighting with scraps. Some of our people are literally butt naked. <gasps> Oh God! Oh, I'm so I'm so sorry. It's every episode. I mean, Helixian never dies. Helixian is more of a concept than uh, than a physical creature. Oh man, it, it's just uh, uh, Meowska blowing out to pieces. The plague, the sacrificing, now mobbed by patrons. I need the adventures of Ice Wolf and Helixian doing the most dangerous from all things possible. It's, it's gonna have to happen, isn't it? Jilp, Ice Wolf, and Helixian. What in the friggin' hell is this? They're fighting one another. Oh, thank God. The storyteller goes through phases of, like, not giving a shit. Wait. The target is not you. Are you gonna fight one another? Or, like, what's going on here? Oh, they're all melee characters. Holy crap. Well, it's a shame we just filled the prison. Oh, they're all aliens. Okay, well, we can't. We don't sacrifice. We only sacrifice humans here, I'm afraid. What a battle, though, huh? Who do you think's got it? I think the the, the Revians are just going to absolutely annihilate them. That's a problem when they're the... Oh, I mean, yeah. They've wiped them out before the battle's technically even begun. It's a little unfair when one side is like dedicated Reapers of Souls that gain combat bonuses for doing damage. They're going after the Mechanoids. In my culture, death is not the end. Well, that's good, given the amount of people, the old people that we've killed. I like the fact they're called the Offender Society. That's a bit weird. Like a faction completely populated with BBC presenters. Oh, well, I mean, we don't have to wait for them to heal up. We could we could just start, like, knocking them on the head now. Sorry, is anybody going to patch up NC188? What if you're ready? No, oh, is it us? You can't call me that. Oh, God, it's the Dark Youngs. I mean, it should be fine. Oh, except we've got an open bloody door to the base. Well, keep an eye on those, otherwise they might devour our people. So if we kill them, we get a genome, Eldritch genome, look. And then I can do so many things with them. Oh, shit. That was like instant. And it stood on the trap. Okay, Rachel. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't do that. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe walk away. Walk away fast. You're going to eat my horse? Ah! Please, 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 please. Please. Piss off. Piss off. Rachel, keep moving. Oh, she got the, uh, she's, she's got the implant. Oh, God. Please don't get killed. Bjornsson. Bjornsson, taste that monster. Oh! That was bloody close. How's your eye doing? You're fine. You were just mangled in the eye by a mass of tentacles. That's half the reason people are watching this series. Kill it. Finish the bloody thing off. And... Okay. Game didn't like that. <laughs> oh, poor sweet little Lars. Your time has come, my friend. Come on. Bulk goods ship crash lands. Here we go. Come on. Uh, three more advanced components, fine. 40 gold, 29 regular components. Deep blue serum, 15 new trimming. It's not bad. This steel's quite nice. To say that this is free and repeatable, this is mad. And yes, repeat we shall. Kill the next one. Accidental king. Your days are numbered, my friend. Uh, well, they're not. Because it's zero. I mean, that's still a number, but... You haven't got any days left. That's what I'm getting at. There seems to be something hostile in the cave. What is that? It's a dark young. It's carrying off my friggin' horse. Are you having a laugh? You fucker, that was the entire basis of my attack plan. Oh, let it go. Let it go for now. We'll work on some fancy genetics later on. Oh my god, a combat supplier. So it just spawns random items from, from that ship's inventory. Ooh. Three advanced components, fine. Three guts of all medicine is pretty good. Components and steel again. Nothing ideal. Cloth dress B. Oh, that's good. Really glad we got that one. Got any more male sacrifices? Tasty. Nope. That's a lady. Uh, not soup. Of course, that would be male. Disgusting. Get rid of them. Get rid of them right now. 28.93. I didn't double check if that did give us favor, but I think it does. 28.93 seems like a massive change, given that we haven't had this unlock for long. My friend, soup, you have nutted your last nut, my friend. Ooh. Speaking of not, we just got another success. Come on. Come on, let's, let's see something big. Plasteel. Plasteel. 
But I mean, a big fucking persona laser will probably do it. Holy crap. Kill Sorrow. Oh, they'll be sad if they kill someone. Kind thoughts. Oh, it's a friendly friggin' laser minigun. Well, that's going in the furnace. What the hell is this? Prestige Guardian armor. Oh, cool. Nine advanced components again. Sleeping on that. This is... Oh, my God, Cthulhu. You've, you've saved us. All this episode has been a struggle to get any sort of resources. We've set a friggin' th three Plasteel deep drills, and we're getting dribbles of Plasteel. 220 over the course of the whole friggin' episode. We've got nothing. And now look at us. All you gotta do is kill a few people. Now I'm 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 up for a a, a conversation about oh yeah you can go uh, Nasta Doa you're next my friend I'm up for a conversation about potentially changing the rules on not sacrificing female humans maybe we say no female aliens because that's what Cthulhu likes given that Cthulhu is an alien well I mean he's like an el outer entity which you presume is an alien he's literally alien given that alien is he's not human is he so quite clearly he's an alien and he's alien to the cat girls too. What if Cthulhu is one big giant cat girl? You never considered that one, have you? Come on, come on, come on. Plasto, though. Success again. Holy crap. Pig's gone berserk. Pig. Pig, don't make me sacrifice you. Uh, Baldor. Female. God damn it. Just want to sacrifice some people. Right, show me. Show me the bulk goods, trader. Plasteel, 26. Hey, not bad, though. Again, not bad. It's like a nice... Good flow of resources, and I'm happy with this. Oh, come on. Why are you so hungry for my horses? Samuel is actually knifing it with a sacrificial dagger. Oh, brilliant. These fucking things. Oh, my collection is ruined. Flow PP Sabalian. Oh my god, they're just getting ripped apart by these things. God damn it. Next time we get them coming in, we're just going to launch a hunting party immediately. We're just going to kill the lot. Get out of here. They're so bloody tanky, though. I think that'll probably do it. Zipper shaped more. Oh my god, what a sight. Kill them all. Piss off. Get the hell out of my base. Don't come back. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Rachel, 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 Rachel. Please stop vomiting, Rachel. One more. One more. Is that, is that actually one more, though? What's this down here? There's another one. Okay, two more. Nice. Finish the job. Yeah, but don't, like, walk in front of the guns, though, genius. For fuck's sake. I'm hoping they'll deal with those mechanoids that, uh, that dropped down earlier. That'd be, that'd be quite nice. What a, what a massacre. <laughs> Why? It's healing, like, faster than we can kill it. I guess we're blowing bits off. Right. We're done. It's free. Who's got the medical emergency going on? Oh, it's a prisoner. I don't give a shit about prisoner. How are you doing? You fine? Samuel is fine. Well, this was a complete and utter nightmare. We've got two factions about to go to war on our front garden. We've got mechanoid, uh, mutagenic mechanoid ship that's spreading bloody fast. And all of the mushrooms are on fire. Not the mushrooms. And you know what? Sure, maybe we didn't go out there into the world and gather a bunch of sacrifices, but we still got enough sacrifices to make a difference here. Cthulhu favors us, which is gigantic. I'm happy with that. Now with Cthulhu's powers, we can call in as many resources as we can capture people to do it with. I hope these guys don't steal them all, though. Because we haven't had a chance to pick it all up yet. And then we invest all this gear into making actual gear for our combat characters tomorrow. We get them some more battle mounts, and we head out there, and we bring back so many people. And then the more people we bring back, the more gear we get, and the more gear we get, the more gear we can build. And I guess we will leave the chaos there for today. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for bearing with me over the past couple of days as well. I'm... I'm beyond frustrated with YouTube and their changes to make daily uploading as difficult and borderline impossible for someone like me who does not bulk upload. They are, they're killing it. They're making it a truly un unpleasant experience across the board, but maybe I won't leave that rant in. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how I feel now that I'm done. Thank you in the meantime to the patrons for, for their patience with both me and the platform. Thank you to Chaotic Entertainment, Azazel, Validus, Atubes, El Zilcho, Joe Roberts, Vladislav, Lazarov, Jimmy, The Dryads, Number One Fan, Shadow, Shall I, Lions, Robert Del Rosario, Thought Experiment, Drew Whiteley, Clinton Smith, Spongy1312, Will, Cyric3 and 3, Pumlord, Fairy Wiz, Michael Nichols, Bauman, Justin Rules, John Stoddard, and Spongy Bomb Monster for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible. And thank you to Coat Conley. Somewhat Moist, Pixel Lane, Natnart, Vegan Slayer, Big Stump, Christopher Bailey, Simon Olivier, Brisson, David Alexander Bennett, Thomas Holt, 
Sensual Kazoo, It Is Cream 56, CS Commando, Doc Thate, APJ, Namar, and Gene Matterson. Thank you. Thank you. Terraria should be out in approximately a couple of hours from when you're watching this. Please enjoy if you are enjoying that series. If not, join me tomorrow. Presuming YouTube allows me the honor of being able to upload and process a video over the course of 12 hours. That'd be good. Anytime.